And our third main topic today comes from us, comes to us from Jason Brown. He says, now that Christmas is over, I'm considering getting a decent resolution tablet to play Stadia around the house. Do we have a go-to tablet yet? And is there a good add-on controller that can clip on to a tablet? Well, thank you very much for the question, Jason. Okay, well, I think that most people... Okay, I don't want to say most people. I think that there are many people that will agree with me that... Unfortunately, Android does not have very many good tablets. And I know that there's people watching live right now. And I know that there's going to be people who are watching after the fact. And this, like me making that statement, is going to tick some people off. I'm okay with that. I'm used to people being mad at me. It doesn't bother me. Uh, But I don't think Android makes perfectly fine phones. Their tablets just are not as good. And I don't really understand why. I feel like it's because Apple is so much more restrictive with how their experience is allowed to be. If you want to make, um, if you want to make, I'm not going to get into, I was about to, but I'm not going to get into the the differences between them. But for me, I, I like the best Android tablet that I ever had was a Nexus 7 which was a long time ago, is a little seven-inch tablet. It was really, really great. But iPads are just, in my opinion, far superior tablets. I think that Android and iPhone, when it comes to phones, they're kind of six in one, half a dozen in the other. They're they're both really good. They both have their pluses and minuses. And at the end of the day, you can really have a uh, have a good experience with either one. But when it comes to tablets, in my opinion, iPads are the best tablets. So your question is, do we have a a tablet that we... uh, You said a high-resolution tablet, too. I don't think that resolution is super important when it comes to a tablet either because generally it's a smaller screen and so you don't need to have a super high resolution. I think you're fine with anything that's basically 1080p. Um, I know that uh, iOS has a weird resolution for the iPad. It's not 4K. It's lower than 4K. It doesn't matter because that thing looks awesome. I've I've got the um, the 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro right here. Uh, This is my main tablet. Honestly, this is my main computer. uh, And I use this thing all the time. Uh, This this is my main tablet and it's awesome. It's really, it's my only tablet. It's my main computer. It's really, really good. Uh, the screen looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got a really high uh, refreshing uh, frame rate. So 120 hertz uh, frame rate. This thing is fantastic. The 120 hertz doesn't do anything for you on Stadia because Stadia is limited to uh, 60 frames per second. The resolution when I play on my iPad is obviously it's going to be 1080p because it can't go higher because this is not a 4K screen and it looks great. So I I don't think resolution is really the thing that you want to look for when it comes to a good experience for playing uh, Stadia on a tablet. The thing that I think you want to look for when playing Stadia on a tablet is uh, three things. Battery life. How long is the battery life on your tablet? Portability. How light is the tablet? You want it to be extremely light. And uh, the last thing is, what else are you going to use it for? So when you once you've answered those three questions, then you can start get, deciding which tablet you are going to go with. For me, it's always going to be iOS because I don't I don't foresee them making. Uh, an Android tablet that is going to be better than my iPad is. I just absolutely love this machine. I use this for a lot of different stuff, though. I use it for, right now, during the pandemic, uh, as a teacher, I'm making tons of videos for my students. And what I do is I set up my, my phone as my camera, and I record my screen, and this is my chalkboard, and I am 
making videos. And then I use AirDrop to take the video from my phone and put it onto my tablet. And then I got the video from my tablet, the video from my phone, and I use Luma Touch to edit them together so that my students can see my face while I'm teaching them what is happening on my, my chalkboard, basically. And like I use that all the time. So I'm doing video editing, I'm doing image editing, I'm doing recording stuff. All of that stuff is happening on my tablet. So I have to have stuff that I, I wanna have a big screen because that makes video editing better. If you're not doing all of that stuff, then I would say get a smaller tablet, especially because you mentioned in your question, something along the lines of having a controller that is going to hold onto the tablet I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but that's going to be a horrible, horrible experience. It, it, tablets are heavy. Uh, I mean, compared compared to other stuff, they're not super heavy, but this is this is a pretty hefty device when you are, not for its size, but can you imagine having this balanced above your controller? It, you're going to have, it's going to pull your hands down. So no, I don't think that that's going to work. Now, can you get an old like Nexus 7? Possibly. I don't know what resolution that is. Uh, it would be really, really light. It would be small. But at that point, just spend the money on having a bigger phone and then you have a bigger phone to use with Stadia as well. So um, here, here's my recommendations. If you're going to be doing video editing on your iPad, if you're going to be doing... Uh, any kind of like drawing or art on your iPad, you want to get the biggest possible tablet you can get. That That's my number one uh, uh, recommendation there. If you're not going to be doing stuff like that, then you have to decide how big do you want it to be. Like the 11 inch iPad is a pretty decent uh, size. And if I didn't do drawing and stuff like that on my iPad, if I didn't do video editing, then that's the direction I would go. But then you have like the iPad mini, which is like this tiny little thing. It's so small. And honestly, I, I very much am looking forward to when they bring out an iPad mini that does not have the home button. That is the all screen style like the iPad Pro is or, or the new iPad Air. I think that that would be a very, very compelling device to have as well because it's so small. Um, so yet you really have to decide what are you going to use this for other than just Stadia. And once you've made that decision, then you can decide what you're going to use it for. Buying a tablet just for Stadia? I don't know that I would. Uh, I mean, as much as I, I would, you know, if I were going to buy a device just for Stadia, I would buy a Chrome, a Chromebook because it's, uh, it's going to be really cheap. It's going to be really light. It comes with like, because it's a laptop instead of a tablet, um, you can just open it up like a laptop and it just sits there. Like this does not just sit there. Like I can't set this down on, on the, on the table and have it vertical so that I can see it not without the keyboard or a, a, some other kind of stand. So honestly, I think the Chromebook is really the device you want to go with. If it's solely for stadia for me, the iPad pro 12.9, that's the way to go because I use it for a million other things. But hey, guess what? There's a lot of other people that are going to see this and maybe they're going to have a better idea for you. So if you use a tablet for Stadia, leave a comment down below and tell everybody which tablet that you use and why. Uh, and maybe that will help out our uh, our um, our questionnaire, uh, the, the person asking the question.